Hey guys, it's hot. It's really hot. We're up at the U.S. Capitol taking a little bit of a look at the fence and the wall and all the scaffolding that's going up. They're moving over to the Senate side now. There's a lot of scaffolds over here. See if we can zoom in on that. There you go. Quite a bit of scaffolding up on the new Senate side. And of course we have the work that's being done on the West Front. There you can see those uh, like air conditioner tubes that go up. House is out of session till Friday. Senate's done for the August recess. I think we're going to walk over to the FBI headquarters. Let's go do that. Hey guys, we are live. Okay, I've got a live stream going now. And we are across from FBI headquarters. Interesting to note, right over here is the archives building. And the archives are the ones who are in charge of all presidential documents. And they are the ones that send a referral to the Justice Department, which is that building over there, concerning the handling of uh, classified documents by the Trump administration after they left office. And then the Justice Department, well, they told the FBI to do a search warrant. And the FBI conducted a search last night at Mar-a-Lago. So, I thought, let's go over and see if anybody is outside FBI headquarters protesting today, or outside justice. Now, I've brought you here before a couple times to show you some of these, what are they called, brass plaques, freezes, I think is what they're called, I'm not sure. But they show the history of the Navy. This is Special Ops, Navy Reserve, Navy Medicine. This one, by the way, this is done by Antonio Tobias Mendez. Antonio Tobias Mendez. His father was Tony Mendez. And Tony Mendez worked for the CIA as a master of disguises. Yeah, he was the he was Argo. If you remember the movie Argo, he was played by Ben Affleck in that movie. Ben Affleck played Tony Mendez. Tony Mendez's son became a sculptor. This is another one by him, Antonio Tobias Mendez, the engineering duty officers. I think he has three that uh, Tony Mendez's son did over here. But he's a very accomplished sculptor in his own right. I've shown you some of his, here's the other one, yeah, Oceanography Re Research. This is by uh, Antonio Mendez. He's done uh, sculptures at, I think, Fenway and uh, Camden Yards and a lot of other things. He did the Justice Marshall sculpture in Annapolis. Uh, he did the, um, the amphibious warfare sculpture I showed you down in the Solomon Islands once. So, interesting. The master of disguise, raised an artist as a son. <laughs> this is the location of a loaned out flower. A corpse flower loaned from the Botanical Gardens to the Smithsonian. And it's about to bloom, which is an incredibly, incredibly rare thing. So let's try to find this thing. It is pretty out here, isn't it? Okay, judging from some photos I saw. I think it's near this art gallery because it's got the round windows. The other art gallery has square windows. Ah, there it is. The corpse flower. The largest unbranched in the world, reaching 12 feet in Indonesia. It's a collection of hundreds of flowers in one structure. And the flowers at the base uh, comes out. Now when it blooms, it stinks. <laughs> it smells like death. And they say it is about to bloom any day now. This flower, so this part here will come down and make a giant flower. This one's about seven feet high, I think. Okay, let's duck out by the Arts and Industry Building, go back out and desperately find our way to a burger place or something yummy. Go this way. Okay guys, we are on a bike down by the Washington Monument. And I got a note that something's going on at the Lincoln Memorial. So let's head over to the World War II Memorial and then spin down to the Lincoln and see what we can see.
I did switch microphones to the wind resistant microphone. I don't know if it's any better. We'll have to deal with that when we get home. Okay, so this is the World War II Memorial. We've been to it a few times. And it's a hot one today. I bet there's a bunch of kids playing in it. No, they don't have anyone in it. Hm. Usually someone's got their feet in the water. Well, this is the cool approach and the sunny approach. Let's take the sunny approach because then we can see more. Yes, we can see a film set up. Look at that. They got a whole bunch of lights and tents and I think they're filming because the memorial looks kind of off limits. Let's go check it out. Hey, it's a baby duck sighting. Of course, these guys aren't babies anymore. Look at those guys. They're big now. Yeah, they got like half the memorial set up for filming, it looks like. Well, quite a production, guys. So, tourists are being kept up to one side. And then, oh, there's all the costumes. And the makeup chairs. And I guess they're filming behind that screen. Oh, here's all the actors. They're all dressed up in 1960s clothes. Boy, they've got to be hot. Those are extras, all the extras. Some more over here. Whew. That'd be annoying when a jet comes through. So a lot of people in 1960s attire. NAACP hats. Look at all these cool toys. They even have cops and rangers dressed up as they were in the 60s, 1960s cop. <laughs> There's a bunch of signs. I'm tired of waiting. Cool. Extras. Big crew, yeah? There's the extras over there. And they're filming up there. Makeup tents. Trying to keep people cool. Pretty interesting. I can't go up there because I've got my bike. <laughs> but oh, they're dressed like uh, NAACP marshals, basically. Pretty cool stuff. Lots of vans and trucks bringing all the actors over, all those buses. All right. Alrighty. Let's take a look at those cars. I think they're still here. Oh yeah, they're still here. It's a Buick and a Cadillac. I wonder how many movies these have been in. Another Buick. Narbury? I don't know what that is. It's a Pontiac? Yeah. And Chevy, Dodge Dart, <laughs> and a Continental. Oh, look at this school bus, guys. Check this out. This whole old style school bus. I wonder if that was in like Forrest Gump. Could have been. Here's a delivery truck. Yesterday, I didn't point out there was a semi tractor trailer. Oh, and they've got a pickup truck over there today, and another old delivery truck. The milkman. Yeah, they're still still getting more vehicles. 
look at all this. This is just a massive production. And how many millions they're going to spend to make this movie? <sighs> okay, this is going to be a short video today because I actually walked around and biked around in this heat for like an hour. And I took you someplace I'd never been before. And the microphone was dog crap. The microphone was just making all sorts of noises. Here, take a listen. Here. There. Yeah, you see that? No. I've got hours of content that's completely unusable. So tomorrow, I'm going to go back. We're going to retrace our steps. You guys are going to see the Capitol Botanical Gardens, all the stuff that's inside there, and maybe whatever else I can figure out. Thanks a lot for watching today. Sorry I couldn't make a longer video. We'll do better tomorrow. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.